As we look ahead, you ticked off a few of the areas um, you know, where this administration's policies have, have caused concern and consternation back in your district. As we look ahead to next year and the next Congress, what are some of the priorities that you want to address that you think are the most important things that Congress must do to set the country on a better path forward? Well, we want an economy that is strong, that is working for the American people. Uh, we want uh, to drive down the cost of goods to, to reduce inflation, reduce uh, prices. We have a plan to do that, uh, stop the trillions of dollars in spending and unleash American independence. And then we want uh, the streets that are safe, a nation that is safe, a border that's secure, we want people to be able to walk in the streets at night or at any time uh, feeling safe while they can do that. And when they can do that, we want a future based on uh, freedom. We think parents should have, um, uh, should be able to participate in their child's education, make decisions about their child's education without being called terrorists, by the way. And then we wanna hold this government accountable. Uh, a core function, a key function of Congress is is oversight. We have a lot of questions asked of this administration about what happened in Afghanistan leading up to the disaster there. Don't we want to know what happened there so that we can prevent it from happening again? We want to talk about the causes of inflation so that we can put us on the right path. Um, we have a lot of questions, again, as I said, for the administration. And then the one thing that we haven't talked about is um, one of the things that I'm thinking about and concerned about, and that is the now $31 trillion in debt and projected to grow uh, at over a trillion dollars per year for as far as, as you can see. That is not a sustainable path. Um, our budget process, uh, the way we spend taxpayer dollars in Congress is completely broken. It's a terrible process. We have, I don't know if you know this, but we we have passed an average of five CRs, a continuing uh, uh, a resolution, which is a short-term spending, average of five per year for each of the last 20 years. This is the way the, the, the best country in the face of the earth is, is handling its finances. Um, it's, it's, it's terrible. It's not sustainable. It will lead to some sort of uh, uh, economic impact uh, that will... Uh, you know, we're already mortgaging our kids and our grandkids' future, but we're putting them in a precarious situation. We can still solve it uh, if we cut back on the spending, if we implement pro-growth policies. Uh, I'd love the 118th Congress to be the one that begins to set us on the right path, that changes the trajectory that we're on. Right now, it's as far as it just that debt's going to continue to go up. It took us a while to get out of this. Uh, but we could, so it's going to take a while to, or it took us a while to get here, I should say. Uh, so it's going to take us a while to get uh, out of it, but we can do it. We can start. And so it's, it's one of the things that maybe we aren't talking about much. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not slapping us in the face, uh, but it will soon if we don't do something about it. And if we get serious about fixing our debt problem, fixing our budget process, uh, we can put the country on the right course.